is microscopic. You started with telescopic, you could see far away in your future. Now, the number two thing you need is insight, the microscopic. How much can you see with microscope, Shekinah? On a microscope, right now, if you look at a plant, all I can see is the leaf. Do you know that the same leaf, if we cut it and put it under the microscope, how many things are you going to see? A lot. So about your vision, yes, you can see the future. Now come into the insight details. How are you going to achieve your vision? Are you counting the cost? Those who want to be lawyers, you must be prepared to know things to read and which subjects to pass. Parents, I want to build a house. Where? In New York. You must be ready to part with some good dollars. Because it's expensive. I want to buy a house in Jerusalem or Tel Aviv. You must be prepared. Find out the details. Amen. A lot of people, they don't want to consider the details and they want to switch your eyes. Have you met people? What are you doing about your studies? Oh God, God is God in control, Pastor. Oh, the devil is a liar. I failed my face. No, don't even involve the devil. What have you done yourself? Are you reading? Are you studying? Details. Microscopic kind of thinking. I want to study. What does it involve? Begin to look at the details. I want to go on holiday. Yes, that is your vision. You want to go on holiday. But now, give me more details. Where do you want to go for your holidays? I want to go to Turkey, Istanbul. Have you checked the details, how much the flight will cost? Do you know how long the flight will be? Have you booked the hotel where you're going to stay? And all those details. So you need number one, foresight. Telescopic kind of thinking. Number two, insight. Microscopic kind of mindset. Details for your vision. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? Where do you want to live when you retire? How are you going to make sure that you live in the place where you want to be? Get details. Uh, many years ago, uh, Pope uh, of the Catholic Church was, was going to visit South Africa and some cities. And uh, when I went to do some studies uh, in Pretoria in South Africa, uh, our lecturer was giving us this scenario to say when you are doing anything like business, plan and have a vision. Having a vision is one thing. Having foresight of the future, what you want to do, is one thing. Now have the insight. So there were people that said that the Pope was going to pass that route. Know what they did? They cooked to go and sell things along that road because people would be lining up to see the Pope. Without without constant updates, the route for the Pope changed. Oh. That was going to use a different route. So these people are busy cooking and uh, making uh, shelters for people to come and buy and eat. The day as the Pope, they were expecting the Pope to pass by, 10 in the morning, the Pope is nowhere to be seen. 11. 12, their food is cooked for people to buy. 12, 13, somebody approached them to say, what are you waiting for? And we are waiting because the Pope is going to pass through this road and we have cooked all this food for people to buy. Since the Pope has passed, he used a different route. They announced a different route. You did not pay attention to announcements. 
What am I saying? With your vision, keep updating. What is it that you want to do? What do you want to do? You are now in secondary school, some of you guys in colleges. You can't be reading um, stuff for yourself. Even in us, things have changed. I used to receive a letter every year from, uh, from UK, uh, from my wife to be there in Beata. But I can't expect to be receiving it. I don't remember when I last received a letter in the post from somebody in another continent uh, sending me a Christmas card through the post. Things have changed. Somebody will send me a text on the phone. If I'm still waiting for a card to come in the post, I might wait for a long time. Are you up to date with your vision? We need to be up to date. Number three, you need hindsight. The rare view. What other things are happening? Do you know in the car, the largest screen is the one in front of the car. Why you are looking into the future? There is another side mirrors, the rear mirrors. The first accident I had, I stopped looking into the, uh, the front uh, view and concentrated on what the one was coming behind me. And I could see them in the side mirrors. Is this so near to me? Guess what? By the time I realized my car, I hit the car in front. What am I saying? Concentrate on the future. The past has nothing to add to your life. Did you hear? There are people that are always in the past. Oh, they said this to me. Oh, they did this to me. Why are you living in the past? Concentrate in the future. Amen. One of the things this year we must do, avoid people that complain, people that are bickering, people are always in the past. Oh, they said this in 2015. Oh, they did this. A person with a vision. You know what their concentration is? The future. The future. Yes, there is a past. There is a rare side you can consider and learn lessons. You have got insight. But you've got a foresight, the future. Where is your future taking you to? Amen. Amen. So you've got the foresight, the future. Number two is insight, the details of your vision. Number three is the insight, the rare side. What has happened in the past? What can we learn from them? We invested in this and it didn't work. I can give you an example. Somebody bought a piece of land. And when they were telling them, oh, the land is beautiful. It's so green and there is this and this and this. And it's near the road, the main road. Then uh, he paid for that piece of land without seeing it. And then when they went to go and see the land, they were driving more than two, three hours. When they arrived, and then they showed them uh, this piece of land. And this person was so disappointed. He said, wow. I didn't expect uh, this far. It's a place whereby, when they came back, where he had bought that land, if they asked him to go back to the same place to say, can you drive, you will get lost. And he says, you know what, I'm not proceeding to get that land. But he had already paid. Those are the rare mirrors of a vision. What have you learned in the past? People have disappointed you. People have done this and that. But are you going to concentrate and live in the past? You know what Paul says? One thing I do, forget the past and focus on Christ Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. The children of Israel, the trouble they had and they were going to the promised land. 
They are the vision. God gave them a vision. I am giving you land where I want you to go to. And as you go to that land, 